Infraredi have just released their new Flex Red Light Therapy Body Panel. How does it compare to their previous generation 2021 version? Let's find out. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, behind me I have two Red Light Therapy Panels from Infraredi. Uh, on my left, I have the new 2022 Infraredi Flex Max. On my right, I have the 2021 Infraredi Max, I think it was called. Now, um, this particular panel, last year's one, actually placed third overall in my body panel comparison series. That was comparing 12 panels. So that's a good panel, well-priced, good performance, worked well. Um, it was missing some of those more advanced features, which is why it placed third and, and didn't quite uh, take out top spot with the likes of Platinum LED Biomax and the Mito Red. But Infraredi have taken all that feedback and taken that result and they've tried to come up with something new and improved and better and more competitive. And this is the Flex 2022. I will be doing a full review on this new panel, so be sure to subscribe. And uh, but if you're watching this later on in the year, it may already be up, so check out the links below. In this particular video though, I'm going to do a quick comparison between these two panels, see what has been improved with the new version and whether it is worth upgrading if you have maybe the older one. Okay, so I don't know if you could notice that, but already there's a difference in terms of how they look. Uh, from a distance, you may think, oh, they're, they're pretty similar, aren't they? But no, this new Flex 2022 has been totally re-engineered, re redesigned from the ground up. Let me just show you, it is a little bit taller. These are both hanging on my wall here. So you can see it is a little bit taller, maybe a little bit narrower as well. But the new Flex actually has a lot more LEDs. There's 240 LEDs in this panel compared to the older model, which only had 210. So that is the first big difference. You're getting more LEDs and a larger panel. What about price? Well, previously you could get this, the older gen panel for $809 after using discount code Alex. The new panel has gone up in price. A discounted price after using discount code Alex comes out to be $902. So it's not quite $100 more expensive, but remember you are getting more LEDs. You are getting a lot more new features, uh, which I'll cover shortly. And also everything's just going up these days. It's insane. So um, you've got to factor in inflation as well. What about shipping and warranty? Both of those have stayed the same. Shipping is free. It was for the old panel. It is for the new panel. Warranty, three years for both panels as well. So that, that is good. Okay, so what are some of these new advanced features I mentioned? Well, in the previous old generation, we only had two wavelengths, 660 and 850. The new one, we get five. We're getting 630, 660. 50% of the power is going to those two red light wavelengths. Then we're getting 810, 830, and 850 nanometers. 50% is going to those three near infrared wavelengths. So you're getting five wavelengths in this one, only two in the other, which is, I think, quite a big plus. Um, more and more panels, more and more people are moving towards those multi-wave panels um, because the research is so solid showing that, yes, there are a lot of health and performance benefits with those other wavelengths outside the 660 and 850 nanometers. Next up, we have a new pulsing feature in the Flex 2022 model. This wasn't a feature in the old panel. In fact, in my comparison series with 12 panels, I believe there were only two panels that offered pulsing. One was the Juve, and that was only pulsing at 10 hertz with the infrared, and that was it. And the other was Light Path LED, where you could customize your pulsing rate from one hertz through to 10,000, and it could be for red, or near infrared or both. And that particular feature that the Light Path LED has is now what's included in the Flex 2020, 2022 version. Is this a good thing? Hey, I mean, it's great, it's an option. Uh, whether you wanna use it or not, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to use it. I still have my doubts about it. It's hard to really know for sure. The cool thing is though, if you find that, look, there's a particular study showing that pulse light at this rate can help with this issue and that's exactly your issue that you're trying to address, you can do that with this panel, you can't with the older one, right? So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, remember though, there's 10,000 different frequency rates and you've got both red light and the infrared. So there's like multiple <laughs> thousands of options, uh, thousands of variables to play with um, with the pulsing. It's, it's kind of mind boggling. But yeah, that's a new feature in the new panel. Also, another new feature with the new panel is the dimmer plus mode or 
dimmability or brightness control mode. We've seen this before on, well, we've seen this across a few panels. Juve had it uh, where you can select between 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%. And Platinum LED with their Biomax range have executed it the best. Uh, they have, with their touchscreen um, control panel, you can raise or lower the intensity or the brightness of the light from 1% or 0% right through to 100%. And you can do that for both red light and the infrared light, which is pretty cool. Uh, and having that touchscreen control panel makes changing it quite easy. You can do nearly the same thing with this panel. You can change your brightness from 0% off, 1% all the way up to 100%. However, you have to do it for both red and near infrared. You can't have say near infrared at 50% and red light at 12%, which is what you could do on the platinum. Uh, if you have red and near infrared light on, on this panel running, whatever the brightness is or the intensity, that's gonna be applicable to both. Not that that's a big downside. I mean, this new feature is a lot better than most of the other panels out there, right? Uh, but I guess Platinum does have that slight edge uh, in terms of customization. Now, if you're wondering, well, I wanna get a panel that's got heaps of power, why do I wanna drop the power back? Well, it's a good question, um, but if you're using your panel, say for uh, extended periods, maybe you're doing a meditation or a stretch or I don't know, just a whole workout in front of it and you don't want 100% intensity for an hour, uh, you can drop that down. Um, likewise, if you're prone to I don't know, like the high intensity gives your skin, I don't know, a red effect or something like that, you can drop it down. You can play around with it. It's another control, another variable that Infrared has, has given you the option to control. I know that's how most of my red light therapy sessions are, 100% intensity, but hey, the fact that you can change it is pretty cool. Now, one thing I do need to mention, controlling the intensity and controlling the frequency with the pulsing that I mentioned before isn't the best uh, in the new flex but remember it wasn't even possible to do this in the old one we'll talk about the control system shortly what about included accessories to be honest both of the panels come with the same sort of stuff you got your pulleys you got your cables door hanging hooks yeah all the all the standard jazz however the new model does have some slight improvements the old one came with these full blackout eye goggles the new panel comes with these see-through green lens goggles which allow you to read uh, and play with your phone and whatnot um, while blocking the intense light. Also there's a slight difference with the remotes. The old one had this remote, the new one has this remote. Unfortunately I don't have a battery to test it. Uh, I guess the new one looks a bit better but what's interesting is there's actually less buttons on it. Uh, so whether one's better or not I'm not too sure. It would have been cool to have a little magnet on the back of these so you could just click it on the panel because I know most people will probably have these laying around and then lose them or misplace them or... I personally don't really use the remotes. Uh, it's never really been a big selling point for me but some people may like them. Good news is you get a remote with the new one just like you did with the old one. Okay, cool. What about power? Because Infrared did redesign this panel and they were trying to improve it, um, make it more powerful. So is it more powerful? Well, yes, I can tell you now that the peak irradiance figure in the old panel was 77 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now the new panel is about 10% higher, 85 milliwatts over centimeter squared. So yeah, again, exceptionally good power. I think some of the best panels I've tested are around that 90, 100 mark. So it's, it's up there, but it's not the top. But hey, with these sort of numbers, it almost doesn't matter because you're getting so much power anyway. The average over nine was 65 in the old one, 67 in the new ones. As an overall, you're getting uh, a higher power as well. And total wattage output, I had 97 on the old one. Remember more is better, 103 on the new one. So yeah, a, a slight improvement there. Now the dollar per watt figure was $8.30 with the old one. These are discounted prices. And the new one is $8.75. Now lower is better in this case because that's how much money you're spending to get one watt of therapeutic red light. However, there's a couple of things to note here. Firstly, the difference is only 45 cents. That, that's nothing. Like anything under $10 for a dollar per watt is exceptional value, at least based on my reviews and, and, and thoughts. So $8.30 versus $8.75. That's, I, I wouldn't see that as a downside. Remember, you've also got inflation. It's been one or two years since the, um, between these panels. So everything's going up these days so i'd be surprised um 
you know, if a panel could come out cheaper uh, and better um, in today's world. So that's another thing to remember. Also, dollar per watt of red light. Also remember the old one had two wavelengths, the new one, five wavelengths. So the 660 and 850 are a lot cheaper to produce. It's part of the reason why most, most companies only use those two wavelengths. So the new one, you're getting more uh, therapeutic light across different wavelengths. So remember to factor that in as well. But end of the day, they're both exceptional. It's exceptional value. Finally, I want to look at the sound and control panel. Sounds easy. The Infrared 2021 was actually, I think it was the quietest panel I tested uh, in my comparison series. It was only 47 decibels, which is quite amazing. I think anything under 50 is great. So that makes the Flex 2022 still great because it came in at 49.7, just under 50, a little bit louder, but not too loud, um, especially when you're comparing to some other panels that are around 55 or 60 decibels. Finally, we've got the control panel. Now I cover this in my dedicated review of the Flex video um, panel, so be sure to check that out. The Infrared Max control panel did what it had to do. It wasn't perfect, there were a few little issues with it. I talk about that in my um, review of that panel and in the comparison series. Um, the buttons weren't labeled the best, but you figure it out, it all makes sense. There's a good manual that comes with it, it's not too confusing. The new Infrared Flex has a similar but improved control panel. The buttons make a little bit more sense, there's uh, less noise, less confusion on the panel, and you now have um, a little control screen uh, rather than just some buttons and a really old school looking timer that you had on the old one. The control screen does allow you to go through and change your frequency rate, your brightness, and select between what, uh, your red and the infrared. So it does give you more options, there's more data on there, though you've only got a couple of buttons to make all of these changes, and it is a little bit like, you know, this is a bit slow. It's not end of the world, but um, you know, comparing it to say something like the Biomax where everything's touchscreen, super easy, easy to change. Um, I just know that there is better out there, but hey, it's a big jump up from the album. All right guys, I think that's it, the main comparisons. Um, what I'm hoping to do is compare the new Flex, where are we, over there, with say the Mito Pro 1500 and a Biomax and maybe a Juve if you wanna see that. So if you do wanna see some of those head-to-head -head comparisons, please leave a comment below uh, and I'll get into them. Also, make sure to check out my full review of the Flex. Uh, that'll be coming up if not already. Uh, I've, I'm also gonna be reviewing the Infrared Flex Mini, so be sure to check that out. And um, I think that's all. If you wanna get one of these panels, be sure to use discount code Alex. I'll put a link to them below uh, so you can go check them out. And um, yeah, leave any feedback or thoughts or comments. All right guys, I'll see you later.